Alright guys, I'm going to t quickly try to tell you how 2K's online data system works and how to bypass it. So, when 2K wants to do updated IF files for whatever reason, um, they the game downloads it pretty much every time it loads up, or every time it changes, or every time you mess with it, um, it will update the online data, and this will replace the files in the main folder. So, if 2K updates the Bucks Court, like it recently did, um, it will no, the game will no longer use the bugs cord that is in the main folder that you may have modded and instead will always use the one in the online folder, online uh, data folder. So here's your saves folder if you get to app data roaming, 2K sports, 2K14 saves. If you go back to 2K14, online data, downloads. These are all the files that 2K has updated and that will overwrite your existing files in the game. Um, you know, with these files. <laughs> I guess that's the best way to try to put it. Let me load up the 2K14. Uh, this is the normal main 2K14 folder. So F001. This is the Bucks Court. And as you can see, whenever the game loads, um, it will always use this file from the online data and it will not use my file over here. Now, there are two things you can do to bypass this. Well, three things. You could use Keep My Mod, <laughs> um, which was a leftovers tool, which is not being updated for 2K14. Um, Unfortunately, you know, he works for 2K. He's not going to be helping us, so um, we got to move on from that. But if uh, we, we, there's a couple ways that we can disable online data updates and get around it. So first off, let me just show you what happens when you get rid of this. So let's just delete all of these, bye bye, and load up the game. And I will show you. Well, yeah, I will show you what happens. <laughs> So basically the game just updates this every single time and um, I don't know if you, you may have noticed it when you press start to load the game at the bottom it will say loading new um, data content, downloading new content, something of that nature. So uh, let's play some basketball. <laughs> we love that basketball. Yeah I know I'm weird. I love it. I don't care. Um, so there it says latest, and if I press start, see how it said updating new content? There it is. So this is all of the, uh, yeah, all of the files that 2K is updated. So we have the black Lakers uniform, um, the Magic Court, the Bucks Court, uh, Dr. J's Cyberface, and of course the updated roster if. Now, to disable this, all you have to do is delete one thing. So let's say I want to have the default roster. I don't want this roster. Delete, delete. And then I can go over to options, reset roster, and this has the default uninjured roster. And as you can see over here, it switched over to latest, which means this is not being used anymore. If it's still in the downloads folder, it's being used. If it's in latest, it's not being used. So you can alt tab and go to this folder and do this. But that's kind of a pain in the Yes, to really do every single time. So one simple thing that you can do, so let's recreate the downloads folder. Oops, let's spell it right. We'll create a, I don't know, text document, screw it. And let's call it roster.if. Because why not? So what's going to happen now is if we go to properties and change it to read only, 2K will not be able to delete this file and replace it with its own. Therefore, it will not download, or it, it will still download it and it'll, all the online data and put them in the latest folder, but it will not use the downloads online data folder uh, for anything. It won't actually use the files, if that makes sense. It will go back and revert to using the main folder because the roster if that I have in here is the default roster. The one that came on disc, uninjured with Kobe and Rondo and Derrick Rose, which, you know, he's back anyway, but you know what I mean. So it tried updating. As you can see here, it wasn't able to download all the files and put them into this folder. So it's not using them. We have Rondo on the main screen, which means that we have our, we're using this roster if file and not the updated one. What this allows you to do is take these files and individually drag them over and you can replace existing ones if there's a new one you know there's a new one but they will all show up properly 
in the game. Oops, we lost latest. So, <laughs> you got to make sure, I mean, sometimes it won't keep the latest folder if you do this. So sometimes you do need to allow the game to download the online data and then you can just take the files and pop them over to your main folder. Um, you can also download, Andrew updates the online data as soon as he can. It's not an immediate thing, but when he gets a chance to, he uploads a download to the NLSE database of these IF files. So you can just download those and bring them over as well. Um, but that's basically the ins and outs of it, how to get around it. So this is a more permanent option, but you need to remember to manually check for these updates and manually move them over to your main folder. Um, but uh, yeah, that's basically it. What I normally do, uh, to be honest, is when I don't want to use the online data updates, I will minimize the game and just delete the roster if or something and then go back in and that's all you have to do. It will stop using it once you uh, mess with the folder once. Uh, but now that we're using, now that we have modded courts and I want to always use my modded courts, I may end up doing this instead. So I hope this helps. I hope, uh, it, you know, this helps you get around these online updates and lets you continue to use your mods. It's definitely not as uh, eloquent, I guess is the best way to put it, as Leftos is keep my mod, but it is a workaround. So I hope this helps and I will see you in the next video. Go Celtics.